Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use the SEMrush backlink audit. This is great if you want to see if there's any toxic backlinks that you have that you want to get removed so you can have a healthier site moving forward. If you'd like to follow along or you haven't gotten to test out SEMrush, I will put a link in the description. They do come with a free trial. So if you haven't created a project for them, you're going to want to do that. Eventually, you're going to want to plug in your domain and giving it some time to load. Once you do that, you can click on your actual website or your project. And it's going to come up with pretty much a profile of your backlinks that you have. As it says right here, overall toxicity score is going to be low. Your backlink profile looks perfect. Thank you very much, SEMrush. So we have 713 non-toxic, 21 potentially toxic, and there's the three that we might want to take a look at. Keep in mind, everyone has a different view of what's toxic when it comes to a backlink. Heck, everyone has a different view on what that means in general. It's a very commonly used word nowadays, but you're kind of going to still have to use your best judgment. But overall, from what I've seen, the toxic ones are pretty crap. You click on them and it's just a random spam and so on and so forth. So we can scroll down a little bit. And if we want to just go here straight to these, we can click on them. So backlinks to review, non-toxic, those are going to be good potentially. And then we have our toxic. Let's start at the worst ones here. Okay. And if we scroll down, we have our simple domain here. So three total domains. So we can start, let's say with this apps geyser right here, let's click on this. Okay, so it doesn't look all that bad, you know, but it's certainly something that you could like, this is something that comes up where it says get guest posts. I'd probably remove this because I don't like even having links on it where it says like you can guest post on this website. So that's certainly something I can disavow. Let's look at the next one, seoayf.com. And that is just spam. That is a perfect example. Like you don't need to spend too much. I'm not going to even spend a lot of time on that because you know immediately it's junk, it's spam. You can disavow that. Then of course we have this one. Who knows what it's going to be? So I'm getting ready. Yeah, pretty much nothing good going on here. So certainly another one that we can easily get rid of. So they do have options where you can remove and disavow. Overall, if you have a backlink that you don't like, what I do is just normally go into Google Search Console and I have a disavow list. I will add that domain to it so that if I get more from it, Google is just going to be like, nope, doesn't matter, you know, because obviously that's what the point of it is for. You can obviously reach out them and ask to remove them. But from what I've noticed, one, it's going to take more time. Two, I don't like doing that. I mean, imagine trying to reach out to the site that I just went here where it was just like random gibberish. No one's probably going to reply to that, even if you can find their email. Okay. So that's, I'd recommend just going into Google Search Console. You can integrate SEMrush with Google Search Console. I haven't personally done it. That's really going to be up to you. But overall, that's what I like about it. It's easy to do. If you have a massive website, what you can do is just import them. And that's going to make your life so much easier when it comes to just getting the old main top level domain so that you can put it into Google Search Console, disavow it, and go from there. But kind of going back over here. But overall, that's a very quick look at the SEMrush backlink audit. What I'm looking for is the toxic ones. You could also maybe take a look at the uh, potential ones. So let's click on these. And it's going to be the same thing going through, looking at the domain for review. There's overall 23. Once again, this was the same one. This was also in the toxic one, I believe. Just kind of nothing there, a few things. So yeah, that can go uh, something like this. I'm just getting ready to click off it quickly. All right, it's barely even loading. Yeah, probably nothing special going on there. And these kind of look random. But I mean, yeah, that didn't even load. So it's up to you if you want to go with these. But the other ones, you can definitely take the Google Search Console, put it in your disavow file, and call it a day. And that concludes how to use this. It's a very quick use, a very quick tool. What I like about it, find the ones that are potentially poisonous or toxic, get rid of them if you want. And if you don't, life goes on. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to check this out to get your uh, backlink audit when it comes to your website, that's what the free trial of SEMrush is going to be for. And that concludes this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.